So Badinu Zama considered freedom to be absolutely essential for the Islamic society's independence, both of the internal pol political structures and in foreign relations. He says, and I quote, the first door of Asia and the world of Islam is the constitutionalism which is in accordance with the Sharia and the freedom which is within its bounds. Freedom is the sole means of liberating the Islamic world of 370 million from captivity. End of the quote. One can easily understand from the above that Badiru Zama was a staunch supporter of freedom within Islamic bounds, not of, not of absolute freedom that leads to anarchy. According to Badiru Zama Said Nursi, true freedom is that one harms neither oneself nor others. His idea of freedom being limited by the Sharia was also reflected in the practical political field in the speech he made in Salonika on the third day after the proclamation of freedom, he said, and I quote, Do not misinterpret freedom, lest it escapes us and makes us choke by making us drink our uh, former stinking captivity from another vessel. For freedom is realized through conforming through good morality to the injunctions and conduct of the Sharia. Dear friends, Badi Uzama draws a clear distinction between the virtues of Islam and misconduct of Muslims. Hence, on the one hand, he advocates Islam's supreme emphasis on equity, justice, liberty and social and egalitarian provisions in the initial period of Islam known as the era of bliss. On the other, he appears to be severe critic of the Muslims' waywardness and deviation from the true version of Islam. Oh, yeah. okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just sum up my uh, argument within a minute. <laughs> yeah. So, the problems, the root cause of all these problems according to Badiw Zama Said Nursis can be summed up in four causes. He says that the backwardness and moral decline of the present day Muslims stem from the four causes. First, failure to observe the ordinances of the illustrious Quranic Sharia. Second, the arbitrary and erroneous interpretation of certain psychophants. Third, the out of place by godry of ignorant externalist scholars or knowledgeable ignoramuses. And fourth, due to misfortune and bad choice, abandoning the virtues of Europe, which are difficult to acquire, and imitating like parrots or children the evils of civilization, which are agreeable to man's base desires. To sum up, Badiw Zama Said Nursi encouraged Muslims to adopt the dynamic spirit, intellectual tradition, and technology, a technology of the West and Europe, but condemned its European colonialism, the economic exploitation of capitalism, the atheism of Marxism, and the moral bankruptcy of secularism. He believed that Islam provided its own religio-political alternative for Muslim societies and thus he turned to the past to rediscover, reinvigorate, rejuvenate the humanitarian principles and universal values essential to reconstruct an Islamic model for modern Muslim societies. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for rendering me a patient hearing.